To be successful, you have to have the biggest house out of all your friends. You gotta be in love with the person that you're with. You gotta have the cutest kids, or you gotta have the biggest job, or you open the best business. Okay. No, that's, that's not success. Today we are talking about why your definition of success is completely wrong. Keep watching. Hey, it's Kyla Denanyo and today we are talking about success. Look at the success. Look, I just bask in it. <laughs> the definition of success based on the Merriam-Webster dictionary is to set a goal and achieve it. That's it to set a goal and achieve it, okay? So we gotta talk about why that is so important. I washed my hair last weekend. I put it in two braids. I took it out and I got curls, waves. That is success. I put on lipstick before this recording. I don't have it smudged all over my face, but if I did, I cleaned it up. That is success. I put on a clean shirt. I came and sat down. I'm right here. I turned on my camera. That is success, okay? You have to realize how successful you are. If you're watching this video on a cell phone, look at you, you bought that phone or you're paying the bill for it or the lease agreement. Success is everywhere, okay? And I need you to start realizing how successful you are. So I'm talking about this today because I went out to eat with a good friend and I was talking to her and I was like, you know, this is happening and some of my friendships are getting kind of weird and I don't know. And, and, and she was like, well, a lot of people can't handle your success. I record videos in my basement because I was fired from a job a year ago. No, 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 no. You choose to record videos in your basement because this is your designated space to record. We have moved from a 900 square foot apartment to a house. <laughs> that is success. We set a goal to get a house and we moved. She says, you still enjoy your spouse and talk to them. That is success. We've been working for home for almost three years and we still enjoy talking to each other and hanging out and having fun together okay, I have a successful relationship, right? And so she was just pointing out things to me. Success, 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 success. Okay, and so what I want you to realize is that you may not be where you want to be, and that's okay. Because I think we should have ambitions, we should have aspirations, we should not always be looking for the next thing, but you're allowed to have goals because you have to set a goal to be successful. Success is setting in a goal and achieving it. If you start to think about, wow, look at all the successes in my life, I really think that'll change things and it'll help you out because I am still doing that. I wanted to do this, I did it. Look at all the success. I wanted to make these shirts. <laughs> I made one for myself because I think lawyers are cool. Look at all the success, right? So I challenge you to spend the next couple of days looking at all your success, thinking about how successful you are. Think about every goal that you set and every time that you've met that goal because all of that is success. You have a history of being successful. So yeah, so when I thought about it like that, I really had to sit back and look at my life and I was like, oh, the big thing that always comes to mind for me is that I failed the bar exam. I have a whole video, I will tag that here where I talk about what it, what you should do if you fail the bar exam and how I felt when I did not pass the bar exam. And that hung over me for a really long time, but I wanted to go to law school and I applied and got in. I met that goal, that was a success. I did my three years, I graduated, like success, success, success. Because we really just have to change the way that we talk to ourselves and about ourselves. You are successful. You can do anything that you decide to do, right? Now, whether or not you want to challenge yourself and go do it is up to you, right? So I challenge you to do, to set another goal and go meet it, but really think about how it feels to meet that goal. And I don't care if it's, I'm gonna cook dinner tonight. I don't care if it's, I'm going to Chick-fil-A because I'm not cooking dinner. If you go get your Chick-fil-A, you're successful. <laughs> you're swimming in success, okay? Look at all the success, look at it. Look at all the success, okay? So if you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about books all the time, I talk about life, I talk about success today. So thanks for watching, I appreciate you spending some time with me.